حضرت رقیہ بنت محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم حضرت ابراہیم بن محمد حضرت عمران حضرت امام حسن بن علی حضرت امام زین اللہ بدین بن امام حسین امام باخر بن زین اللہ بدین امام جابر صادق حضرت عباس فاطمہ بن بیسر حضرت علیز مدر حضرت عثمان علی رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ سعید بن ابی وقاس عبداللہ بن مسعود حضرت ابی حرار رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ حضرت مالک بن عنس رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ When Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam arrived at Medina from Makkah in September 6-2-2, Jannat al-Baqi was a land covered with trees. During the construction of Al-Masjid al-Nabawi, Asad bin Zarab, one of Muhammad's companions, passed away. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam chose the spot to be graveyard, and Asad was the first individual to be buried in Jannat al-Baqi. Among the Ansar, the first person was buried in Jannat al-Baqi, Asad bin Mazmoon, Asad bin Dara radhi Allah ta'ala. Shortly after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam arrived from Badr, Usman bin Mazmoon passed away and was buried in al-Baqi. He was considered the first companion of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from the Muhajirun to be buried in al-Baqi. The first enlargement of the graveyard in history was made by Hazrat Amir Muawiyah. Different times of history, many domes and structures were built or rebuilt over many famous graves in Al Baqi. I show you some pictures of shrine in Jannat Al Baqi. It is an old picture of Jannat Al Baqi before 1925, 21st April. This is the shape of Jannat Al Baqi. The many people visited the Jannat al-Baqi, look, look, take a look at this picture. This is a shrine, mausoleum, tomb, mazar, on the graves of Hadrat Fatima to Zarawdi Ladun, Imam Hassan, Imam Zain al-Abedin, Imam Baqir, Imam Jabir Sadiq, Hadrat Abbas Radhi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, Uncle Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Sallam, the graves are inside this shrine. This is Jannat al -Bakhi. And look at this picture. Eight. The shrine of Hulati Ali Mafadir in the Torah. Look at this. Take a look. Shrine on the grave of Hulati Fatima Tuzara. Ali Masadir in the Torah. Hulati Usman Ali in the Torah. And the sand, and this one, Hazrat Imam Ibn Ali. The shrine of Hazrat Hamza Ali Allah Ta'ala. Before 1925, and after 20, 1925, this, Hazrat Yusman Ali. After 1925, after 1925, Hazrat Abbas, Imam Abbas, Zain al-Abadeen, Imam Hazrat, Bibi Fatima Tuzha radhi Allah Ta'ala. This time you can see this. Hazrat Abbas radhi Allah Ta'ala, Anu. This time. Mizar, joys or not. Some people say that it is a haram to build the mizar of a saint. It must first be understood that there are two types of Muslim. Ordinary Muslim and special Muslim. Erection of Sharaim, Mausoleum for an ordinary Muslim is forbidden. But for special Muslim, means saint, pious, martyrs, ulama, the erection of the Sharaim for special individuals is permissible. Listen this ayah. فَقَالُبْنُ عَلَيْهِمْ بُنْجَانًا رَبُّهُمْ عَالَمُ بِهِمْ Allah Ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, some said, construct a building over them. Their Lord knows best about them. Those who prevailed over their affairs said, let us surely build a place for worship, a worship over them. 
The famous commentators of the Quran, Imam Bizawi says, from this it is understood that to erect a mausoleum for the special people, boys, saints, and ulama is permissible. Imam Fakhruddin Razi writes, the leaders of the city said that he will build a mosque over them so that we will worship Allah Ta'ala and by the means of this mosque, the monuments of Ashab Ta'af will remain. So Imam Fakhruddin Razi said, you can build a mezar not on the top of the cover, around the cover. In Tafsir al-Mu'ani, volume 3, according to the verse, to build over the graves of the ulama, awliya ikram, and the salihim, is a permissible act with this condition that the motive is that the greatness of these boys people must be made apparent so that the people do not think that it is an ordinary grave. In Mirqat Shah Mishqat, it is a permissible to erect masaliyam, means Mizar Shawain. Hazrat <coughs> Shaykh Abdul Haq Muhaddas al-Dhalabi ta'ala said that to build tombs is a praise worthy yet. Hazrat Shaykh Abdul Haq Muhaddas al-Dhalabi ta'ala is an accepted scholar both by the Arabs and non-Arabs. He first brought and spread ilm hadith mubarqa knowledge of hadith mubarqa in the indo pakistan and subcontinent. Not only in India, in Pakistan, numerous other countries throughout the world also have shrines of saints, martyrs, and ulama with mausoleums erected over them. These mausoleums date back to the early days of Islam. Does it now mean that all these mazars will have to be raised to the ground? But those who erected these shrines and the mazars, not Muslim, it should be pointed out that the Muslims of that era were even more points than the Muslims of today come to the point. Therefore, you are finding the shrines in Jannatul Baqi before 1925. जो बड़ी है कामिल है जिसने सारी ज़िंदगी अल्लाह के नाम पे गुजार दी लाखों लोगों को करोड़ों लोगों को उसने मुसलमान किया है इसके रिस्पेक्ट के लिए मिज़ार मज़ार बनाओ इसका इसके आमर के लिए प्रोटेक्ट के लिए और रिस्पेक्ट के लिए इसके मज़ार को बना अंदुलुस के अंदर तुमने 800 साल हुकूमत की तुम्हारा तुम्हारा नाम निशान नहीं है, तुम्हारी कोई चीज नजर नहीं आती, हर चीज बंद की जा रही है, हिंदुस्तान के अंदर तुम्हारा सब कुछ नजर आ रहा है, क्यों? इसलिए कि हिंदुस्तान में बलियों के मजार हैं, अगर अंदुलुस में भी बलियों के मजार होते, तो वहाँ से भी कभी ये निकाल न सकते, तो ये लोग � उससे पहले अजरत बीबी फातिमा का मजार था अजरत इमाम हसन अजरत अब्बास ये सारों की कब्रें एक मजार के अंदर थी और ऊपर बहुत सारा गुंबद बना हुआ था इसी तरह अजरत उस्मान गनी रजी अल्लाह तआला ने उनका मजार था और गुंबद बना हुआ था इसी तरीके से अजरत अली मा सादी रजी अल्लाह तआला ने का मजार था मजार था और गुंबद जो है वो बना हुआ था बीबी खदीजा तो खुबर रजी अल्लाह तआला ने कहा उनका मजार मजार था ऊपर गुंबद बना हुआ था इमाम मालिक रजी अल्लाह तआला ने हो इमाम मालिक के नाम में मजार था उसके ऊपर गुंबद बना हुआ था तो बाद में सब जो है वो गिरा दिए गए खैर मुझे इसे डिस्कस नहीं करना क्या ठीक किया या गलत तो उलामा कराम ने ये फरमाया है कि जो औरिया कराम है इनका मैदान जो है वो बनाया जाएगा जैसे असहाब काफ स्लीपर ऑफ स्लीपर्स ऑफ केव जो है उनके ऊपर जो है उन्होंने ये कहा कि हम लोग यहाँ मस्जिद बनाएंगे ताकि अल्लाह की इबादत हो और इन लोगों की यादगार जो है वो सलाम रहे द मोस्ट ब्लेस्ड एंड स्पिरिचुअल ग्रेट यार्ड इन द वर्ल्ड जन्नत उल बकी Allah's messenger said, peace be upon you, a house of believers, what you were pr promised will come to pass tomorrow at this time. We shall Allah willing soon join you. Allah grant forgiveness to the people who are buried in Jannah al -Baki. So Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prayed for those people who are buried in Jannah al -Baki. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, this is what I mentioned in the Revelation. I am the first for whom the earth will burst. Then Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq radhi Allah Taala. Then Hazrat Umar radhi Allah Taala. I know. I shall then come to those who are buried in Jannatul Baqi, and they will be gathered along with me. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam first of all will stand from his grave. Then Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq radhi Allah Taala. Then Hazrat Umar radhi Allah Taala. Then Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam will go to the graveyard with Hazrat Abu Bakr and Hazrat Umar radhi Allah Taala. And Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam will stay there. 
Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was for Allah for a death in the city of his final messenger. There is also a great significance in being buried in Al Baqi graveyard. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prayed for Madina to be blessed in every way, as well as for his new home to be more beloved to him than Makkah. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Oh Allah, make Madina beloved to us, like our love for Makkah, or even stronger. This is mentioned in Bukhari Sharif and Muslim Sharif. Also Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Oh Allah, put in Madina double what you have put in Makkah Sharif in terms of blessings and increase. This is mentioned in Bukhari Sharif. Ibn Umar, narrated Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Whosoever is able to die in Madina Sharif, and then let him die there. For indeed, I will intercede for the one who dies there. This is mentioned in Musnad Imam Ahmad. Khwaish karo, agar tum mar sakte ho to Madina mein maro. Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne farmaya, agar tumhare liye ye munasib hai, agar asan hai, to phir jao Madina mein tumhe maut aani chahiye. Kyun ke jo aadmi Madina mein marega, na kiyamat ke liye uski sibarish karega. Whosoever is able to die in Medina, and then let him die there. For indeed, I will intercede for the one who dies in there. Not only did the Prophet ﷺ tell others to try to achieve their last moments of life in Medina, but he had the same desire for himself. Imam Ali, in his Muatta, narrates on the authority of the successor. Successor means Tawari. Jaja ibn Sa'id, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sitting by a grave as it was being dug in Madinah Sharif. Janat al when a man looked inside the grave and remarked, what a wretched final resting place for a believer. So the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, what a wretched thing you have said. Because a believer's grave is a garden from the gardens of paradise, the messenger of Allah said, there is nothing like dying in the way of God, but there is not on the face of this earth a piece of land more beloved to me than my grave should be in. Then this Medina, he, he repeated this, that three times, Medina is beloved to me, Medina is beloved to me, Medina is beloved to me. Allahu Akbar Shadu, Umar ibn Khattab, Allah anhu, made supplication, dua, Allah, Make me a martyr in your path and grant me a death in the city of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.